Classical Architecture, 500 BCE to CE 500. The growth of empires and cities led to the construction of many public buildings. The most magnificent were the ones for state and religious use. In the cities of the developed world at the time, buildings were constructed from stone for strength and durability and often faced with a decorative stone, which was marble, to make them look impressive. They were built by hand, although tools and devices such as scaffolding had been in developed and made construction of large buildings and sophisticated arches possible. Many buildings today are not much more advanced than they were 2,000 years ago. The Greeks were skilled architects. The study of mathematics helped them design well-proportioned buildings that suited their surroundings. By 300 BCE, the Greeks had also developed town planning and streets in a grid pattern. The city builders of Mesoamerica also used urban planning. In other places, cities evolved from their former origins as villages, forts, harbors, or road junctions with a more random pattern of design. The Romans adopted many Greek ideas, but also discovered new techniques. One was how to make concrete in around 200 BCE. At first, they used it in their foundations, but soon it was used in their construction of walls and huge domed roofs. They also developed arches for buildings, bridges, and aqueducts. By CE 200, Roman cities had apartment buildings called insulae and that were four or five stories tall. Roman cities were a foretaste of the densely packed cities of today. Rome had an enormous traffic problem. Large-scale building. Engineering works became much more ambitious and sophisticated. Paved, drained, and raised roads that were built in the Roman Empire, Persia, India, China, and Mexico. They allowed much faster transportation and use of carts to carry bigger loads. Water was channeled was channeled into canals or along raised aqueducts to supply the cities. In Mesoamerica, enormous pyramids and other structures were built in impressively large religious centers. All this engineering work involved the assembling and organization of large numbers of people, as well as food supplies and building materials. Architects, surveyors, and engineers were in demand to select materials and supervise construction. These represented tremendous growth in practical skills as well as knowledge of mathematics and engineering principles. The specialized construction trades that we know of today develop from this time. All over the world, building techniques improved gradually, even in simpler societies and villages. Although their use of wood, which rots and falls apart, means that few traces of their buildings remain. In cold climates, new methods of de dealing with cold and damp were developed. In hot climates, cool and shady buildings were built with arches, good light, and ventilation. The Maya built high pyramids to be able to reach above the tree level of the jungle around them. Construction principles that remain the same.